Episode of What a Horse and Guess Who's Back. Oh, <laughs> you here? Good to be here. Good to be here, Jerry. How are you hey, doing? Hey, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you made it back. Yeah, we're Shoot doing. You. We're we're on a roll. I'm tickled. Did you survive the snow? Lord, yeah. How we, about that? Hey, we went out to Lane Leverett's. Did did a bunch of good stuff. Yeah, see. Yeah. Going to be uh, some more this week. We're we're just taking it in stride. Yeah. I tell you what, Tommy. Good. What we got? Uh, well, I've got some announcements. Before we do that, we're going to take a short pause for our sponsors because without them, we wouldn't be here. Exactly. So we'll be right back after this word from our sponsors. Let's do it. Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And J.D. Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book, too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Six-time world champion in amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dow at Fantasy Farms in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. Come one, come all, that's the motto at the new Feed for All store on Highway 64 East. Feed for All is family owned and operated by Christy and Eddie Guthrie along with their son Joe. This family will be available to serve your daily needs for all your agriculture animal feeds. Their goal is to provide feed in bulk or buy the bag wherever it is needed and will always be a phone call away. Christy and Eddie have always been very selective in the quality of the feed their animals were fed and their satisfaction with the Feed for All products is their guarantee. You will be satisfied as well. Watch your horses come running when you break out the Feed for All horse feed. Give Feed for All a call today at 931-492-4609 or stop by their store located at 2392 Highway 64 East in Shelbyville, Tennessee and pick up a load of feed today. Joe is ready to load it for you. Uh, feed for all! So good! Let's return back to Jerry Harris and his guests on What a Horse. <laughs> Don't have to change that because you ain't no guest no more. Well, also, <laughs> and our my, our, my uh, brother from another mother, Jerry Williams. I know. And then there. Yeah, he, he's always Love there. This. I heard from him this week. He, you know, so I think getting a coat. You know, we yeah. got Sugar Creek coming up yep. February the 5th. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a, a, I mean, that's going to be great. Rowdy Ranch is going to serve the food. It's going to be good. Call David Williams at 931-639-1081. He'll tell you all about it and bring one of you good two-year-olds. I'm thinking about taking Sir out there. I've talked to Jerry about it. He said, well, you want to. It'd be neat. I got a secret, but I can't tell it. All right. Well, don't tell He's going to have a, like an exhibition of some type out there. Hey, it'd be at, good. At, at, uh, I can't tell you, though. I'm not going to tell you, but I'm excited about it myself. Special horse going to Y'all remember, he, would, he wouldn't tell nobody. I'm not hey, going to tell us all. We, we we did a deal with uh, that we was going to sell. I, I'm like this. I, I watched Yellowstone. Mm -hmm. They got their brand. I'm going to show you what the Tennessee Walking Horse brand is. 
Okay. Let me see that ring. This, this is the ring that Love we're going to sell. And we're, right now, less than half price. Because we, I told Giles, I said, we're going to get rid of that. I think it's gorgeous. It's uh, beautiful. Hey, we're, we're fixing to open up a bunch more after the... He How much gets that? That right there? Yeah. Four grand. Bargain. Hey, tell me about it. At, it highway robbery. Well, Bargain. The, the appraisal on it was 86. Whew. So that, that's just beautiful. beautiful. I've got one like it, but I don't have the diamond in the middle. But the, my brand is this little bitty one. See, I, I I'm wear scared a, to wear something I, like that. I, I, I wear I, a small one. I mean, I'm just too much car playing for me. I, that stuff has has he, he to a, walk off. He's getting a five card stud game. Son. It'd be, it'd be, where's your ring? Well, it, yeah, well, it was here. It, it was hard getting off. They took my <laughs> finger with it. They, right. they, they take it all off. Oh. I tell you what. Yes, sir. Um, we, we're going to be doing some things in the next few weeks. Like when, when I was out at at Lane Leverage. Mm -hmm. Lane comes up with some good ideas. We got an there. interview coming up, do we not? Right here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's out thinking. there. We yeah. did two interviews out there. Yeah. One of them was with Lane, and we're just talking about different shows of we do. And then uh, we did one with Billy Young about the sale. And this is important. If people, when they listen to it, we've been discussing back and forth with them about live streaming the sale, so people that can't be here can right. be it. And I know I've seen a lot of sales where a lot of items, horses and everything, cattle, is yeah. sold over the internet. So we're we're looking at it. Uh, the sale's going to be out at Pleasant Valley. Mm -hmm. Nick said getting Wi-Fi in there would be no trouble. So I'm going to tell when y'all listen to this interview, if you're interested in bidding on these two-year-olds, that's all it's going to be is two-year-olds. There's yeah. an emphasis put on the paddy. Yeah. But they only have flat shot. Well, of course, yeah. All you got to do is call Lane or Billy. Either one, tell them what you're wanting to do, that you want to bid, and they'll fix it up for you. And I told them, I said, if it's beneficial, I don't mind doing it. It'd be, great. It'd be fun. It'd be good to see it because I, uh, Sugar Creek will stream theirs. When we know we'll, go, we'll do what we did last year at the Jimbo's, and then the other ones will do all those too. But here's the thing to watch for, two things, mm -hmm. fillies and maiden horses. Oh, yeah. The maiden class. Two things that we're going to fit in. knows all about that Yeah, maiden, absolutely. She won it with one, name the maiden. Who yeah. does that but her? You know, <laughs> yeah. my gosh. She, she, she tore them a new one. Yeah, so, it, was, it was fantastic. Well, she did know, really good. We're going down to uh, Brandon's, to uh, Brandon Tate's for the right. show, for, the, for their preview. They're that, going to have a barn party <laughs> where all their, those funds go to Camp Smilemile. Camp Smilemile, the Walking Horse Association in Alabama, always, they have, Big auction always. We were there. We've been there oh, for hey, they, they've done. Years. They, they'll sell horses. They'll. I don't know. They may even give some away. Banana for pudding for two hundred dollars. That's right. A, a strawberry cheesecake. Right. Out of this. I tell you what. Let's just go out let's to go, Lane Leverage. Let's look at the interview. And, I want to hear what Lane says. says. Hey, Lane, Lane's got some good ideas. Here we go to Lane Leverage. All right. We're at Lane Leverage. It's awful cold outside. We're going to show you some video of that in just a minute. But right now, I'm here with Wayne Hart, Lane Leverett, and we're going to talk about some things coming up along with a couple other ideas that <coughs> Lane came up with. But uh, Lane, y'all going to have a horse sale February 18th, 18th and, and 19th. Now, 18th and preview. Yes, right? sir. Yeah, preview. And it's going to be at Pleasant, Pleasant Valley. Pleasant Valley. Valley. Mm -hmm. How many do you think you'll have out there? You know, we're hoping to have 60. Uh, when we started out, we said we was going to take 50, and now I think we've decided, you know, 60. And if it was more, we're going to have, we'll have whatever comes in, but we're aiming for 60. Well, that'd be all, all two-year-olds, whether it be flat shod, trail pleasure, performance, whatever it is, it's all two-year-olds. But you're going to have the preview on the 18th, that's Friday. Uh-huh. And then it starts, what, about 3 o'clock? Uh, three, yes, sir. And what time is the actual sale going to start on Saturday? Ten, ten o'clock. Ten o'clock? Uh-huh. Lane brought up a subject that's pr pretty neat that we need to cover, and that's the young gun trainers in the walking horse industry, and you've got one right here. You know, there's, there's Eli here, there's uh, Lake Weaver, Brandon Alshai, uh, there's several of them on the top of my head. I'd have to think of it. Wesley Williams. Wesley Williams. Let's talk about the one that's right here, Eli. 
Now he, he has started, I know a ton. And you know, in the last four years, I'd say he started as many horses, been, in, been to the ring as any trainer it is, you know, from day one to going. Oh, you know, them guys, a lot of times they're behind the scenes, but they, they a lot of the reason things happen the way they do. You know, Lake Weaver over at Justin Janae's probably starts 25 or 30 a year. Uh, Colt, you know, that boy won uh, the fraternity on the coat that he started from day one and went all the way and showed himself and, and won the fraternity. You know, that's, that's pretty neat for them young guys. Well, I've, I've watched your boy out here a bunch of times on them, just where they're holding them for him to get on to where he's getting on and riding. And uh, he, he just, he's got a good set of hands. He works hard and uh, stays in the saddle. That's the main thing. Yes, sir. They work hard. What's your average age group? You're talking about young trainers. You know, I'd say the ones from 19 to 25. How old are they like? Uh, 21. 21. I think yeah. Lake Weaver turned 24 today. Mm-hmm. Or is he uh, 24? I think he's 24 today. Happy birthday, buddy. Oh, uh, let's see. There's some more out there that we need to think about. Oh, like Jerry Williams up here. He, his boy, he's he started yeah. several too. His, they, they've got a young guy that works for him that wanted to. Uh, he wants to learn to ride, so they're putting him on a little bit of everything. And, he asked me what the secret was. I said, after you get thrown off enough times, you'll learn the secret. Stay on their back. Tell him the secret is <laughs> keep doing it. When you get to about 200, you'll be done had it about figured out. <laughs> <laughs> you hit that ground yeah. enough, you'll figure it out quick. That's the way it goes. Yeah. Well, how many how many coaches do y'all start here? I know you start a ton. You know, we'll start 100, 125 a year. <clears throat> Well, that, that keeps you busy all yeah, year long. Pretty, know you know, we got, I think, 50 now. We've we weeded them down at one time. You know, here we had 75. Uh, but, you know, you just you keep going through them. And they, there's some that don't make, some that make pleasure horses. Some people carry them home to show, you know, different things they kind of weed down. Well, you know, pleasure horses right now are bringing quite a bit mm-hmm. of money. Oh, yeah. I think the, the high dollar one for the sale out on 40, uh, uh, 65. I think it was twelve thousand for, mm-hmm. for a light shot horse, and I don't think that was show horse. I think that was a trail horse. At least that's what I was yeah. told. I didn't get to get these. Them. These flat shot show horses are bringing good, good. Pre- they're bringing as good as anything. You know, they're, they're that market's really come on. So, you know, these 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 colts nowadays, we've got. You know, we don't just say, "Well, I ain't gonna make Patty. We're gonna junk him out. We'll drop them down, and try them. You know, mm-hmm. and see what they are, and send videos to." You know, these premier flat shod trainers, uh, Hannah Pulver, Jessica and David, and Joe Laurie Lester and all Laurie them, Laurie Toon. Well, I know Laurie really, mm-hmm. she, she does great mm-hmm. now. She, she does. She does. She's got that female touch, I'll say. Yeah. Is that what they call it? Well, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the flat shod people want to get their coach from where they've been started with a pad on anyway for a while to get that action. So they, they actually like getting them from, you know, the, their coat barns. Well, you know, I sold one one time, Jerry Williams helped me sell it to a lady that watched it with dog walking. It was a filly and uh, had pads on. And she just come out and said, you know, that horse right there make a great flat shot. We knocked the pads off of it. I let her show him. And she was reserved by, behind the current world grand champion. So that's in a flat shot class. And uh, so I, I can see they, they go out and they pick them out. What a tr- one trainer doesn't see, another trainer might. And speaking of that, we got a guy right here. Wayne's wanting to put on some horse shows. Yeah. I told him he needed to buy a horse, so go ahead. Do it all here in one day. I'll try to do it all at one time. We get it done. We get it done. Wayne, uh, Lane said he had the current next world grand champion that was great in here. Not a good one. A great one. Uh, great one. There's a the difference between good and great. That's right. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. And he said he had a great one. So uh We'll sell it to you today. I get a commission if he buys it. Partner? Hey, partner. <laughs> next. <laughs> if you partner this, can't you? Next, thir- next Thursday, when, yeah. we, when we do our little round table deal again, we'll ride him. I'm not going to ride him with the, the, in this degrees uh, like I, it is now. How do you see new customers coming in? Uh, you know, over the past two years, it's been several. There was, there's been several people that uh, had gotten out mm-hmm. that has gotten back in, come That's back great. in. And... Uh, of that, but yeah, there's there's several. I've I've got several new customers, people that's come in. They want to buy and speculate on these coats. Yeah, and uh, I got several that's come in, done that. 
Well, you know, a lot. We got a lot of people who that's all they do. Yeah. I mean, Joe Barnes. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, he's big mm -hmm. about buying. You know, Jeff Faulkner and Bobby Blue, I got a slew of people here, you know, that they, that's what they do. They buy and they care less if they show one at all. There's a lot of people that that's, that's their way. They, they just like it. And I that's mean, what it takes. Well, well it takes, you, you got to have a little bit of everybody mm -hmm. in this industry. You can't have just a, just a trainer or just a guy that wants a trainer to train a horse to show. It, you got to have everybody speculate. You got to have people that want to put on horse shows like you. Exactly. I mean, you got to have it all. Mm -hmm. you don't, then you got to have the sponsors. That, that's the big thing. You got to have the sponsors. Yep. But we, we need more shows right now. We do. We do. That, that, uh, we, we need them away from shows. We've people. got to get back to, you know, used to there was a show circuit in Missouri. Right. There was one all up in eastern Kentucky, mm -hmm. uh, West Tennessee. You know, West Tennessee has, what, one show Humboldt now? That's it. Oh, uh, Kentucky, up eastern Kentucky, they may have three a year, and they're all at one place at Liberty. They had them at a time. We got to get the these horses back out to the people to you know our business was slow for a while it's flourishing again now and it's growing and right. people's getting in but we've got to find ways to get these horses back to horse shows like in well, Moorhead, Kentucky well, or well, Owens well, Alabama or Decay yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, I mean we got Col them in Decatur Colbert. now Jackson Tennessee uh, Lexington Tennessee Parsons mm -hmm. Tennessee in Missouri and you know that that expands our market. You know you get a lot a lot more people out there. But you know all the seems like all everything's centralized right here, and it, we've got to get it to spread somehow. Well, it, it, that's the only way you're going to let it really flourish and grow. Mm -hmm. I know that there's some people been talking back and forth. We have about having another show down at uh, Tunica, Mississippi. Everybody loves that show. I mean, it's something to do. You have a three-day show down there. You, there's things to do at night. And it's a lot of fun. But uh, but the other side, use Tunica for an example. You go to Tunica, Mississippi. There ain't nobody down there. Mm -mm. Nobody down there. The, the people you got at the horse show in Tunica, Mississippi, are the horse people. Well, they now, go down there to watch the horse show. Right. There, there's now, there's a lot that come up from Mississippi. Yeah, but stay there. with what? me. Just, stay with me just a minute. <laughs> stay with me just a minute. Everybody's everybody that comes to Tunica. Ninety percent of people they got horses there and they're going to show. There is no community in Tunica, Mississippi to bring in to watch the horse show. Not really. You go to Parsons, Tennessee on Friday night and, or Saturday night, and there's not a lot to do. Then the people from the community comes in to watch the horse show. And, you know, some little girl run around there and says, Granddaddy, I sure would like to do that right there. Well, you know, at Tunica, Mississippi, you're not going to get that crowd. No. Now, at the ag, you, you, I, I'll use this for instance. This is prime example. People are attracted to places where the lights come on. You go to the Cal Sonic Arena, and we have horse shows in there through the year, and there's nobody there but who's showing their horses. Right. There's no community there. They, they don't, they don't. Half time, they don't even know we're having a horse show. But you go to the rock pile, and them lights come on. It's just like a football game. So they, they're attracted to it. It's, hey, what's going on? Let's go down there and watch a horse show. We ain't got nothing to do tonight. Let's, hey, let's take you a long chair and go down there. Yes, sir. That's where it's all about. That's, that's right. Where it started yeah. That's where it started. I do agree with that. But yeah. now, and I'm getting back to Tunica now, when they have the Tunica show, they normally have a good crowd Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. It ain't real huge, but it's a good crowd. Tables downstairs. Yeah, I'm not knocking it. Upstairs. It's a great horse but show. What, what you're saying? Well, I'm, is, I'm saying is, we got to draw right. different communities. Civic Center horses. That's, yeah. Uh, remember for years, Lawrenceburg. Mm -hmm. Lawrenceburg oh, yeah. had Gallatin. the Lions Club horse. Gallatin. Bobby Blue and them put on Gallatin, <coughs> Lebanon, Mount Pleasant, Mount Pleasant, I mean, Lynchburg. Oh yeah, yeah. Lynchburg. Lynchburg yeah. would was, was always Bethesda. packed with Bethesda. people. Bethesda. 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 But you take like Lynchburg. Everybody that lived around there come to the horse show. Ain't nothing else to do but drink whiskey. I mean, go to the horse show. You go to Lynchburg two times a year. You would go when Frontier Days come in, and you go to the horse show. And it'd be so many people you couldn't stir them with a stick. It is community. Oh, yes, sir. Community. 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 And you got to get Eagleville. Remember Eagleville? Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Dixon, yeah. Tennessee. Oh, uh, all the community. Well, it was hot there though. Yeah. Down in the bowl, but still it was full. I mean, people all over the place. But the community hall shows is what we're missing. That's what it's all about. You know, and, you, and, and these hall shows nowadays, 
Oh, which they're great. They're trying to make a class for each horse. Each. If you got your big night shows and your multi night shows, that's fine. But any horse show you go to, the community show, you put on 25 to 30 classes, that's plenty. And the people will come and stay. The, they'll be through by 10, 30, 11, and they enjoy it and they come stay. Well, I remember in Eagle, Tennessee, there was 23 in the flat shot class. I mean, they was circled all the way around there. I mean, and, but Petersburg. Petersburg, Petersburg, for instance, Pe oh, Petersburg God, yeah. was one of the biggest one night shows. It was loaded with people. Just, oh, but now, here, here is what's happened, though, and I've had too many of them explain this to me. Your community civic group, Lions Club, they dwindled down. They don't have the members that they used to. And if you go just like down to Gallatin, if you watch what was happening at Gallatin, Spears was the youngest one there, mm -hmm. and he he was the one that put on the show. Most of them was in their 60s to 70s, and they've, they've gone through the Lions Club all those years and built that up because they would go down there and paint the fences, everything. They make it look mm -hmm. good in there for the people to come. All them homemade uh, pies and cakes and things, but you don't have the involvement in the communities like your civic groups like you used to, and, and that, that hurts a lot. Even Tallahoma had a good show at times. Oh, yes, sir. I remember the old Tallahoma show. Great show. Yeah, but hey, the guy that put that show on, he was a member of the Lions Club. Mm -hmm. They put it on at the ballpark. Yeah. And we've got a group over there now that want a arena put out there on Manchester Highway specifically for horse shows, but it's got to have the support to do it. And to get it, those civic groups are the key. They are the key. We're 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 talking about the, the civic groups and the horse shows. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you an instance right here, if, and you remember this when I tell you, Winchester's got that indoor provision. Yes. Anytime they had a horse show at Winchester, they'd have a nice little crowd, but it'd be the one show horse, indoors. Right. Didn't see no. Didn't have much of an outside crowd. But you go to Tullahoma, and everybody in town was at the horse show. Yeah, that's true. I mean, and, and you're right. Well, see, the people that put that horse show on in Winchester was a, a lady and her son. Well, the lady passed away, and her son. And then the rotary did it for a couple of years. Yeah. Well, you know, Philip, Philip Galt was over the Lions Club at Petersburg for years. Mm -hmm. and right. he, did, he did the horse show year after year and done it. I mean, was real good at it, Todd. He beat the bushes, he got the sponsors. And then as he got older, and I, I ain't sure, did Philip pass away? I believe he did now, uh, the one that was over. You know, it's a shame, because I'm kin to him, distant kin, but I, I can't remember. But, uh, he did it in the new ones now. <coughs> I don't even think they know what a walking horse is. Well, another thing that hurt, and, and it hurt a lot of places, to where the involvement, you, used to you go to a one night show, you'd see 250, 300 horses, easy. Then it got down to where you'd see maybe 200. Then you got a bunch of them where it got down to where less than 100. There's a lot of different reasons for that, mainly, what would happen when the USDA would get out of hand. Mm -hmm. and, and it affected everybody. And, and when, you, when you do that and you don't promote it, and I'm talking about promoting our horse, not promoting what some of these people say we got, but promoting what we got. There's a big difference. It's like you said a while ago, there's a lot of difference between mm -hmm. great and good. There's a lot of difference in our horse and what we have to listen to people out here saying we got. A lot of difference. Mm -hmm. Once they see it, just like the three vets that come in for the celebration, mm -hmm. the number one thing they said, and I was standing right there, this isn't what we expected. They expected to see something awful. All they saw was something good, even when they pulled shoes. Mm -hmm. Mac Dick would pull them shoes, and he'll tell you today, they'd say, this ain't what we were told. This is nothing like we were told. Because we let people lie and mis mistreat us. I mean, that's it. We're going to get some video outside to show everybody what we braved the weather for. <laughs> and Billy's on his way out. Well, here, you want me to so. go get my side beside the feed trough, pull y'all to <laughs> Let me pull y'all two around out yeah. here. Let him <laughs> I'm going to pass I'm gonna pass on that one. I'd rather watch a walking horse go across the snow than someone drag me across. But Billy will be here in a minute. We're going to talk about this sale. Okay. Thank you for joining yeah, us, Wayne. I knew we'd get him on camera. <laughs> nah. He, he, he dodged him, but we got him. We'll be right back. All right.
That, that was a good conversation. Good interview about, about uh, horse shows. Hey, historic we, we things. Them. And, and Lane was dead on on a lot of mm. it. Now he he was, of course. He, he and I got crossways about Tunica because Tunica was a big show. Right. They had a lot of people there. But you got to realize there, there's a whole different community down there that shows horses. We'll be right back exactly. after we take this short pause for our sponsors. You got to do that. Tom. We got to do it. I got to be right back. <laughs> Tired of paying for monthly telephone service, expensive long-distance bills, and all those crazy taxes? Are you sick of spending money on telephone equipment, maintenance contracts, and service calls, all for a phone system that shackles you to 100-year-old technology and your desk? Stop it. It's time to ship your phone system to the cloud. What can the cloud do for you? Bring together remote offices, workers, and employees in the field. Make sure that you'll never miss calls by delivering them to multiple devices. Modernize faxing by allowing multiple faxes to be sent and received at once. And deliver to email. Get your voicemail messages instantly through email, too. And take advantage of an endless supply of customizable features. Host My Calls can deliver the cloud. All of this technology with low upfront costs and not one penny in capital expense. It's time for a phone solution you'll truly love from Host My Calls. Call the number below. The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. I don't want anybody to forget the winner circle. They have free shipping for any order over $100, and they do support our industry on a regular basis. So please remember the winner circle when you're getting your equine needs. Let's get back to Water Horse and watch some more videos. <laughs> Billy Young, Billy touchdown. Young. Hey, he, he corrected me right off the bat. And I, uh -oh. told him, I, said, I said, hell, you're the president. You got it right. <laughs> I, was, I was saying him and Lane going to do that. He said, nope. He said, the trainer's going to do it. Yeah. And, but he's doing it for him. So he's you talking about the sale? Yeah. He's yeah. still the lead. He's still out here in front. We are talking about how many would show up from February the 5th to the 18th. Mm -hmm. That's going to be, you can't ever tell. Let's start the video. Billy Young, here we go. We've got the new president of the Walking Horse Association, Mr. Billy Young with us. And Billy, you and Lane are putting together a sale to be held out at Pleasant Valley. Uh, well, Billy and Lane are not doing, but the Trainer Association is okay. doing it. And we're gonna <laughs> I stand corrected right off. <laughs> we got drafted, yeah. yeah. Well, he's the president. He, he can correct me if he wants to. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Well, tell me, I know that 18th preview, tell us a little bit about it. We talked to Lane about it, but what's your perspective on it? Well, Jerry, it's something that hadn't been tried for several years in the horse business, and uh, we just kind of felt like that there was a need for it and a place for it. Uh, so we'll see how it works and hope it, you know, hope it's successful. But I don't know how long has it been since they've had a two-year-old sale. Under Ten saddle. years. Ten years, I, I guess. Or you know, maybe it's been quite a while. It's, it's been the last, a while. Last, one I remember, the last just two-year-old sale I remember when Amit and Spears had it in Murfreesboro where the Colts of the Future sale. Right. And That's the last one that was strictly, right. which it was strictly performance, you know, padded Colts. Right. And they sold some some horses, some Colts that went on to be mm -hmm. top Colts and brought good money. So I uh, hope we can at least kind of follow in that pattern, Jerry. Well, you're going to be selling performance and flat shot, or just performance, or, or have you decided exactly how you're going no, to do it? No, I think if uh, somebody's got a flat shot they want to put in there, if it's uh, the right kind of quality, we, we'd certainly be uh, glad to have it. Well, I know a lot. Ever since I've posted, I know I've seen a lot of shares. Yeah. And, and a few comments, but most most people are sharing it. And. Uh, but I, I, I think you're going to end up with a pretty good sale, I would think. Well, I certainly hope so. Like I said, it's something new, and, and we're kind of uh, uh, 
kind of flying to the seat of her pants, I think, right now. <laughs> well, the main thing is get the, get the horses, but you're hoping to have somewhere 50 to 60 entries. We, we would hope to have at least 50, yeah. Well, if we're starting at 10 o'clock in the morning, that, that could take quite a while right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just according yeah. to how they bid. Yeah, right. Uh, you know, we're talking, or we've talked with you, of course, about uh, introducing the online bidding, so uh, we'll see, you know, if that's going to, we haven't made that decision, but we're right. talking about it, so. Uh, uh, it, that, that's a big question mark out there, and uh, I may post that just to see how many people would be interested yeah. in it, because that, that'd be a, it's a good thing, and I've seen it work. Well, yeah. yeah. Uh, correct, correct me if I'm wrong, then. The sale, we're going to have everything there is going to be two-year-olds. We're going to take flat shots or whatever people want to bring us to. But we're going to put an emphasis on our padded coats. Yes. I mean, like, we, we, we still in works on how we're going to do it all. But, you know, we'll take padded coats that, that we've looked at and know it's pretty good. And we'll have a certain designated time maybe that we'll bring right. that, that padded coats in. To, right. You know, if we got a coat that's going to bring... Twenty-five, thirty thousand dollars. We want to stop and have time for that coat to bring twenty-five, thirty thousand dollars. Yeah, and well, people to know when he's going through. You know, so we'll we'll itemize. You know, our emphasis is going to be on the padded horses. But are you going to have any? And I'm going to call it like spotlight, extra, the great ones that you was talking about. I don't know. We ain't really well, I, I think we're certainly uh, those coats that we see that we know we're supposed to bring. Uh, a good amount of money, we're going to put them in a spot where they have the opportunity to do that. To do that, that that's going to be I, I good. don't know if we're going to call it the spotlight, or, but uh, we'll, have, we'll definitely put a little special emphasis on it. Well, I'm going to go out on a limb right here, and I'm going to say you're probably going to sell one padded that looks real good that's going to end up in a flat shot glass. Maybe. Because yeah. somebody's going to look, and they're going to say, I like flat shot, and that right there is what I want. Yeah. Kind of like what we was talking mm -hmm. about a while ago. I want one that'll beat them. Yeah. So yeah. that'd be the way it goes. Well, uh, every horse needs to be where he's the best at. That's it. I mean, and, and we know how that goes. Some of them, and again, then again, it depends on who starts it, who trains it. Yeah. Most of these are already going to be under saddle anyway, I would assume. Oh, yeah. So yeah. pretty much they're going to see what they're doing out front. Right. All right. Anything we need to tell the people? Well, I, all I know is uh, encourage people to uh, enter their coats. Uh, we haven't got a deadline yet, but we'll set one here in the next week or 10 days. Uh, we've had a fair amount of interest already. And uh, I ask people to hope they'll support what we're trying to do. All right, well, we're gonna post your phone numbers and Good. tell them to call you, get them in there. And uh, of course, we're gonna be back because I wanna really promote this. I'd love to see y'all I'd love to see a big crowd there. Let's see a lot of good horses sold. That just kind of set the stage for the, right. the year. And right. I'm hoping that we see a lot at, at the preview down at, at Sugar Creek that turn around and end up in this sale right. out there. That right. would be really good. You know, something people need to know about, about the sale and what we're doing is we put this <clears> on and, and Billy and myself, are, I guess, the ones they call them because we've kind of got the lead. We're, we're doing the train, but what people need to know is this: what we make out of this sale is going to to benefit the Walking Horse Trainer Association. It's it's all that money goes back to the Trainer Association. What we're making, we're doing it, you know, to help fund what we got. Some things we got coming up in in the future to do. Yeah. So that's that's what it's about. Well, so I'm we gonna throw this out here because y'all just you brought this up. Y'all just got through doing something that nobody had done to my knowledge and that was you had a horse show where y'all were the sponsor of the horse show right and and that i mean that says a lot right there to where you wanted people to have a place to show so that's just another thing that you by entering your horse out here that may have another one of them to my knowledge that's the first horse show that i know of in a, for a long long time but we haven't asked for sponsors we made it pay for itself. Didn't make a lot of money on it, but we had a horse show and made it pay for and itself. And had a good horse show. Yes, I we did. I would say that. Y'all had a good horse show, a lot of horses, yeah. a lot of people, 
a lot of people had a lot of fun. Yeah. And, and you know, the yearling, the yearling sale helps benefit that. It does. We can do it. This sale will help put money back in our kitty where we can, you know, where the trainer association can do, do them kind of things. Okay. All right, everybody, you heard what they said. They already had one freebie horse show, I'm going to call it. <laughs> Who knows? They may have another, and if you get out and support them, so come on out on the 18th, pick you out a good one, come back the 19th and buy it. How's that? Good. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, all That was a good interview. With, with Real good in the Trans Association having a horse show, and they were the sole sponsor. That's I know. Hey. But now they had a big one too. I well, mean, of we, course. We had a great time there. I thought, I mean, it was all super. I'll tell you something else we did. Let's do it. You, you're going to enjoy this. Okay. The Ryder Cup winners. Uh huh. I've had different people say, well, how'd they do it? How'd they do it? Uh -huh. Well, I'm here to tell you, I, I went and looked at a lot. I want y'all to check this out. Okay. Here, here we go. Ryder Cup, number 10. Link Webb, that's him. Hey, Link that was, let me, let me tell you what that was. Philadelphia, Mississippi, that is uh, Dixie Road. That's it. We went down there that night and didn't even, it was me and CJ, we didn't even know. I think yeah. Taylor took his video. Yeah. We didn't even know this horse was going to be there until we got there. And Matt Kilgore come up. This is uh, Dixie Road at Philadelphia, hey, Mississippi. Hey, good as do. So Link Webb was number 10, right? He was number 10. Okay. But I'm going to tell you straight, and I'm not going to go into to numbers and everything. Go ahead. But... There was people that showed anywhere from, you'd think, a bunch from 30 to 40 times to over 100 times. Of course. And their winning percentages are not, you know, very few trainers win over 50% of the time. A lot yeah. of people don't know that, but they don't. Exactly. And that's because they're barns. They take Jimmy McCall. Mm -hmm. Well, he's got a barn full of horses. So it, if, if he won 50% of the time, nobody else would be getting a ribbon. Dixie Road at, at uh, Woodbury. Yep. Tell you what, I like that horse a lot. Dixie Road, no, Magnifico. Oh, Magnifico. For your champion of the world. Had just sold. Prior to that, sure did. Look at that rascal can take a step. Ooh wee! By Jose, Jose out of line with Cashmere. Hello, how many you want? Move it on up, but he's a good one. Watch it. But now he's number 10. Link Webb. Link Webb. Let's see who number nine is. All right, Link. Let's see who's next. Number nine. Edgar Abernathy, <laughs> bless him. Taking that big check back to Vidalia, not Vidalia, what's it, Bahia. Bahia. Excuse me, excuse me. Bahia, Mississippi. You, you're looking, thinking about I was thinking onion. about food, yeah. I was thinking about beans and Vidalias. Bless his heart. Edgar. Edgar's a good one now. That, where is that? Pulaski? I mean, uh, not Pulaski, but Fayetteville. Uh, yep, I believe that is Fedville, Tennessee. Yeah, that's Fayetteville. Matter of fact, I know it is. Now, uh -oh. that's, a, that's Cal Sonny. Right. That would be another Edgar Abernathy. That's it. He dropped a lot of weight. He kind of had that surgery like that. Well, a little different than I had, but he had some that, that weight loss surgery. Uh-oh, set of roses. I haven't heard about their coat party yet, have you? 
Nope. I ain't either. I ain't heard a word about it. We went last year. I, well, I got to call Edgar to find out what the story is. They have a good, now that's a good little drive down there too. A little bit of a, little bit, not bad. That's a little black rain horse that uh, Joel Stewart, I think that's what, well, yeah. It, right now it belongs to Taylor. Taylor Walters? Yes, sir. Taylor you sure? She, Taylor says she likes that horse. Oh, the black rain horse, they bought him. Yeah. Okay, sure I got you. He's a good one. Yeah, Joel Stewart, uh, I had him at first. He was good. Uh oh, number eight. R.M. Kelly. <laughs> That's him. Bowling Green, little R.M. Kelly. I'll tell you what now, I, he's I like good him. Now. Hey, he, he's a good one. He can get it done. That's a good coat right there. Woo wee! That's up there at uh, Woodbury right there. Oh, yeah. Man, he could do it. That was right before the celebration. I am Kelly. Twisted with honors, Arm Kellett for Howard Eastridge. Ryder Cup points, he is number eight. That was over to uh, Cal Sonic. We just had it bid up like that. Uh, Good horse too. Oh, Arm yeah. killer, great horse trainer. Number seven, let's see. Lucky number seven. None other but Mr. Knox Blackburn. Ah, how about him? That's over at uh, Thursport. Thursport. You know somebody I know announced that show over. Probably me. Huh? It's probably me. I know it was. Yeah. Can't you hear you in the background? Is that me? That was yeah. year before last, yeah. That was last year. Hey. Last spring? No, I didn't announce it last spring. Somebody else did. That was the year before. Well, maybe it was. Georgia, Florida line. I, I Bruce, love it. I, I really love this horse. horse. Yeah, I do. I like him a lot. Now, this was a division change this year for this horse, right? Yes. Okay, so I was thinking. And good, always good. Georgia, Florida line. Good to see Knox. Knox is training for my brother, Lee. He does. Lee has one over here, yeah. Actually, not they subbed one out to uh, Dixie. I mean, to uh, Dickie Gardner this year. One that went in the maiden that that uh, was over there. Actually, came out of a mare that Bruce McDonald owned. That's in Alabama, right there. Uh huh. Down at Decatur. Getting where I can pick out these shows. We got to come up with an avenue to have more shows. We do. I and mean, I think I got it. The schools is going to be the best bet. The tennis bunch is going to yes. have, a, have a school show. Yep. Ricky Richardson's sister yep. has always been real good at that. Soccer league. Well, had I believe he's, he's in with this too. Absolutely. He always is. Yeah. Sure is. On his own, Knox Blackburn, Bruce and Rob McDonald. I'm tickled to see Knox back. He. Knox always hit me. He'll come to them shows. Absolutely. Now. He'll load up. He brings them horses, and that's what counts. Always has had good customers, good loyal customers. 
Brought a lot of people in the horse business, too. Oh, yeah. Number six, who we got? None other than Mr. Wild Bill Calloway. Uh-oh. In Ted's image, in Asheville. What's a pretty rascal? Mm-hmm. He's usually fine harness. You know that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's usually fine harness. Pretty. Gosh, he's pretty. Is he still the stud? Ron Lawrence. Ah, you know, that's a good question. I don't know. Me neither. Right there, now, right here is one that I really like. Born, Born in Maverick. Maverick. Bill Calloway, Bob Adcock. Was at the co preview last year at Premier. I mean, I think it was another one. Tony Palomino had it. Sold him to Bob. By Maverick. Look here. I mean, good. Plum good. I think he came to Columbia right after that and won with Bob. Yep. He's won a bunch in, in oh, yeah. both ways. And I, I really like it. They had him out there. At, uh, that Maverick was a, had got breed, some great breed rascal, ranks. yeah. Samsung. Yep. I'd still, if, if I owned Maverick, I yeah. would put him out up in a pasture with a six good mares and let Mother Nature take, take care of itself. Course, yeah. I swear I would. Because that, he is something else. He breeds. You know, there's some strange two-year-olds. I'm not saying strange. I'm saying weird breeding. Yep. Very few. Now, Maverick obviously is the champion of the world. They breed to him. Jimmer Fredette yep. has got some good colts out there. Yep. And another one is uh, Uptight Jose. Yeah, he's got a couple good ones. They got one. Joe Fleming's got one by Uptight Jose, who's a gelded now, believe it or not. But I mean, some weird. No, nah, I'm not saying weird breeding, but different. Yeah, different. I, I never thought I, Uptight Jose would have had a coat on the ground, but he does. I might have some more. We just don't know about. You them. never. You never. Can't, know. can't ever tell. Can't. That's right. That's right. <laughs> hey, we'll be right back. We're going to take a short pause for our sponsors, and we will return with some more Ryder Cup. Let's do it. We're still counting down. Uh oh. You made the time and the sacrifice to broaden their horizons, to see their smiles, but mostly to make lifelong memories. We think it's time to do it again, just the two of you. Don't let illness or injury slow you down. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live well. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. Let's get back to Jerry and his guests on what a horse. All right. We got the top five now. Uh oh. We're on Countdown Alley, buddy. Who's number five? Where's five? Well, we're, we're going to I think see. I know this. I think I know five. I know, well, I know you know five. I know five. But Let's I know who five is. Let's watch five. You'll know him. Associated with a really great horse this year, too, that I saw when they first broke into the two-year-old, Joe Pop. As but Winky's on, actually, he's on Magnifico right here. Yep, sure is. Lewisburg, Tennessee, Winky Grover. He is number five. I went out to Winkies one time to ride a mare. Yeah. When I got there, I, I heard Winky talking to the horse. He said, now, Jerry's going to be out here in a minute. You take care of the folks. <laughs> <laughs> I said, heck, Wink, I've, I've rode them before. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Nifco, he appears twice. A little cheap. We got this little quarter out there at the house. 
Winky's old school Look here. riding too. Oh, he's yeah. set up in the, he's set up there straight and tall. I'm trying to remember what this was right here. This is kind of cute little unit. Alabama, Jubilee. I would think that would be a... Well, it, it's hard to make out what some Ooh. of the announcers oh, say. Oh, yeah, you can't hear. Oh, that's a uh, command on parole. Yes. He was a pass for you the week, by the way, Jerry. Yeah. Number four, what we got? Number four is Tyler oh, Balkum. Tyler Balkum. This is uh, Pocahontas. I tell you what. One good mare, buddy. Don't think she's not. Broadway Honors takes the yep. blue to your class celebration. Honors had a pretty good year. Yeah, you Honors think? did. Honors had a real good Honors year. Honors was due a good year. He had a good year and he was due one. I got a Marion Bowl to him right now. Do you really? I'm hoping he had a whole lot of good years. Yeah, he had a, he had a good year. He was, he, it was long coming, but he had, he had one. Well, he had a battle. I mean, he had them texting to turn him down before he got there. I mean, you name it. Tyler Bauckham on. Minor ordeal. You got that right. Now, right there is a piece of work. I just knew that right there was going to be the one this year. In the top three. Yeah, we get to the top three. We're bringing this one back to Shelbyville. How about Tanner Burks? That's a good jockey. Them, all three of them Burks are good. The daddy and the two sons. Oh, good riders. I heard that uh, the other brother is headed up to Jim Bo Connors. You talking about uh, uh, Hayden? Yeah, Hayden. I had no idea. Yep, sure did. I heard he was headed there. Hayden was 14. This is uh, Sister Milligan. I think this is her yeah. filly that she raised in there at, uh, at her farm in uh, Vernon, Florida. That was my well, big thing. I used to go on Saturday look at all her colts being born. Loved them. Loved her colts. His brother was 14th on the Ryder Cup this year. Was he? Yes, sir. Both them Tanner, both them Burke boys doing great. Tanner Burks. He's fixing to get married. Is he? Yes, sir. I think he's marrying Willie Green, right? Uh, that's a fact. That was the announcement. Congratulations, buddy. Ain't nothing like married life. It's just peachy wonderful. <laughs> I wish him the bless his heart. That's a good kid. Those are good kids. Oh, yeah, they are. Number two. Uh-oh, here we go. John Allen Callaway. How about it? He's Rider of Champions of the World. He is the man. One I two think this is... Running. This is the one that uh, Julia rides, his daughter. Yeah. Nevermore. This is in Champions Arena. Are we not? Yeah. That's exactly where you're at. Nevermore, John Allen Callaway makes a ride. There's... There's Miss Callaway right there. That was his groom. Yeah, his wife, yeah. Nevermore. Nevermore wins again. That horse is a lot of blue ribbons. Just 
Justified honors. Current champion of the world. That was his qualifier. Yep. That's all he had to do. He didn't have to go the over two class. As long as he was in that four-year-old stud, he qualified for the big stake. That's it. One of few four-year-olds that, have you ever seen him up close? He's big. You got us, you can't appreciate him until you get up next to him. Uh-oh, we know who this is. We know who number one is, the master. Jimmy Mack, Jimmy McConnell. That's him on that mare that lady gave me. Oh. She didn't give it to you. Yes, she did. She said you ain't touching that mare. <laughs> Mrs. Walters. We'll call Mrs. Walters right now and ask her how much your this chances. Is, this is Jimmy. I tell you what. In Asheville. Jimmy shows a ton. I yeah. mean, he really, and that's one thing but I he has for, about. But he has forever. I mean, he has for years. He, he's so used to putting that many in the ring at one night. They're just. And he's got good people to work for him. Chris hey, has been hey, with him he's forever. He's got some good, got a good assistant trainer. Oh, you, yeah. you, you name it, and it's just great working. I mean, it. I, I love to go because you always know Jimmy's going to pull up with a. The only time that you will go to a There's show one when I Jimmy believe. doesn't pull up with a ton of horses is when he's at another show that yeah. you're not at. What is Jimmy? That's Mark One right That's there. Be Mark One, yeah. I bet you five hundred dollars gets a hole in a donut. We see Molly Walters riding that this year. You don't think he'll stand the open? You think she'll go to amateur class with him? I think she'll show him, but I think Jimmy will too. Yeah, look at him. You know what his name was? <laughs> I'm Merle Haggard. Wesley Williams broke him at Waterfall at the well, old Waterfall well, Farms. If he's doing that now, he did a good job. You he, tell Wesley. He said broke that. him. His name was I'm Merle Haggard. That was his name. Jimmy loved him from day one. I'm Merle Haggard, and I'm going to Jimmy McConnell's because he's going to play me like a guitar. Donnie Taylor playing. and actually uh, Mike Floyd owned them together one right. time. They right. owned him together one time. They, they, they've been partners in several different horses. Good ones. They're, Real Jen Amati was one well, of them. I know, well, Jim Amati, Jen Amati, there was three of them in there at one time. Uh -huh. And then one of them dropped out, and then the other dropped out. But Mike said, nope, I believe in that horse. Mm -hmm. I believe in it. I think, I think his niece had a lot to do with it, too. Yep. Because now, buddy, she loves it. He's Jen, you seen his coats? Huh? Yes. Got some gorgeous coats. The most viewed video that I have on YouTube for 2021 is Jen Amati. Was Jen Amati. In the collection. In the in the jump room. Yeah, right. And as as Jimmy said in uh <laughs> what Yellowstone, Yellowstone he did he said this recreation room. He didn't yeah. know what it was. Everybody's watching Yellowstone. Lord have mercy. Out of it. Well I tell you what, what else we got? Next week we're gonna have the flat shod uh trainers. Good. Top ten. And just to give you a inside view. Dickie Gardner is number 10. So, I ain't going to tell you So we're going from Dickie Gardner on up to the, to the master lady. Uh-oh. To we the lady. Who, we know who that is. Thank you all for joining us this week. Tommy, I appreciate you coming Good. over. See you next week. Tell everybody bye. Bye. Y'all take care. We'll see you next week. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.